You gotta have dreams. That's why I hate celebrity kids. Because celebrity kids have already accomplished your dreams. <laughs> just by being born, right? Like Blue Ivy Carter. Fuck Blue Ivy Carter. <laughs> She's already met Jay-Z. <laughs> and she sucked on Beyonce's titties. Those were my dreams. Those are my dreams. I'm trying to be on a Black History Month stamp. That's what I'm, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to. I like Black History Month. It's like Shark Week for black people, it's dope. But to be honest, I'm, I'm a little bored with celebrating the same five black people every year. That's why I feel like we should be able to celebrate fictional black people for Black History Month. Because they've done like way cooler shit. Right, like a real guy that we celebrate, George Washington Carver. Black guy who invented peanut butter. Peanut butter is good, it's not great. Peanut butter is only good when it's with something else. It's like the Nate dog of food, you know what I mean? It's a little bit of a long way. That's why I feel like we should be able to celebrate, I don't know, Jordy LaForge from Star Trek Next Generation? He's a blind spaceship engineer. That's way better than peanut butter. Or Winston Zedmore, the black Ghostbuster. He's the first and last brother to fight ghosts. That's it's amazing. Especially because everybody thinks black people hate ghosts. And that's not true. We don't hate ghosts, you guys. We just hate sheets with eye holes cut out of them. Okay? This has got nothing to do with ghosts. That's a weird club, huh? The KKK. That's what we... You know, the weirdest thing about the KKK to me is that the horses have to wear hoods, too. Like, we won't know it's a horse? Like, Mr. Butterscotch? Is that you? My white friends, they always want to know who can use the N-word. That's always the big thing. They always, they always ask me that. So I came up with a theory, and I'm going to share it with you guys. My theory on using the N-word, it's not about being black. It's about being the most oppressed minority in the room. All right? Let me explain. If you're Latino in a room full of Asians, you can use the N-word. <laughs> You're the most oppressed minority in the room. If you're Asian in a room full of white people, you can use the N-word. You're the most oppressed minority in the room. If you're white and you get abducted by aliens, and they fly you millions and millions of light years away from Earth, you still can't 